identifying groups or families and periods. So this is describing the periodic table. We're going to be able to identify groups and families and periods. So groups or families are the vertical columns of the periodic table containing elements that are similar in their chemical properties. So like any other family, there are some things that have, they have traits in common, whether it be traditions, how they look, or family, um, or where they come from. These are things that make them similar. So think of vertical columns as a family or group because they have common similar chemical properties. Next thing we have are periods. Horizontal row of the periodic table, so going in this direction, in the columns the vertical row going up and down. And the horizontal row contains elements with the same number of electron shells or energy levels. So basically um, if you're in the first energy level you're going to be in the first, you're going to have only one energy level. The second one, you're going to have two energy levels. The third row, you're going to have three energy levels. The fourth, you're going to have four, so on and so forth, like that. So let's take a look at a periodic table and see if we can identify the different parts, uh, the different groups and periods, and the way that groups and periods are labeled on the periodic table. So this is a periodic table. It has all the different elements that we have, and going up and down, so going in this direction, this we're going to call group 1 or family 1. So this is group 1 going up and down, going all the way down, that is a group. Now going across, so if I go across here, that is called a period. Get a periodic table, period. So this is a period or row right here, and then this going down is the group or family. And now, why do they have two different names? Why does it say group or family? Well, family can just refer to each of the columns. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 can describe the family. So we have 18 families. However, because the very important elements have things in common, we also call them groups. And there are two types of groups, A group and the B group. This, the transition metals, what we're going to call the transition metals here, is the B group. And all the ones that are a little bit higher than it, so this family, this family, and these families, all have the A designation. So let me show you. 1A, 2A, so this is group 1A, this is group 2A, and then we skip over the Bs and we go here and that's going to be group 3A, 4A, 5A, 6A, 7A, and 8A. This is going to be important and help us use the periodic table better later uh, when we discuss electron configurations and valence electrons, but this is easily how to identify different elements. So if I talk about hydrogen, I'm talking about period 1 and also group 1A or family 1.